Hey, it's me, Flippy, and today we'll be meeting some amazing sea creatures. This is going to be awesome. Let's check them out. So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout, Flippy! Hey, it's me, Flippy, and look at where I'm at. Yeah, I'm at a marina. Yeah, marinas are a body of water where a bunch of boats live. <laughs> so cool. But hey, check this out. Wow! Today, we're at the Marine Life Center in Bellingham, Washington. And you and I are going to learn a lot about some cool creatures and fish. Yeah, I love fish. Woohoo! Let's go! Wow! Oh, hey, who are you? Hi! My name's Casey. Oh, Who are you? Nice to meet you, Casey. I'm Flippy. What are you doing? I'm painting a picture of some of my ocean friends on the ceiling here. Wow. Are those sharks right there? They sure are. They're dog sharks. Oh, that's cool. Well, it's a very good painting. But hey, do you mind if I go explore the marine life center? Please do. <laughs> wow. Check this place out. Wow. This is going to be so much fun learning about marine life. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, do you see that? That is a skate. Yeah, it's hard to see because it blends in so good with the rocks surrounding it. Yeah, just like how I kind of blend in with this creature right here, because we're both the color orange, the skate blends in with the rocks, and that is called camouflage. Whoa, yeah, that helps keep it safe from its predators. Whoa. Oh, check out this tank. Oh, looks like there's some cute fish in there. Hello. Hey. Wow. They're just swimming around and they look like they are having fun. Oh, what else is in here? Oh, looks like some seaweed and some rocks. Yeah, Casey says there's actually an eel in here. Whoa. And she's going to come feed it. Yeah. Hey, Blippi, did you find the wolf eel? She's hiding inside of her den. Sometimes, if she's hungry, she'll come out and say hello. It looks like she has a grumpy face, but she's actually my friend. Sometimes she likes belly rubs and treats. Her favorite is shrimp. Let's see if we can get her to eat. Wow! Such cool animals in here. I love all these creatures. Whoa! Check it out. Wow, inside this tote, there is a kelp crab. Whoa, do you see him? Whoa, look at him. Here, let me move this piece of kelp. Whoa, there he is. Whoa, the cool thing about this kelp crab, yeah, is it's camouflage. Yeah, he camouflages by eating things. If he starts to eat things that are light brown, then he starts to turn light brown himself. Or if he eats things that are dark brown, like this piece of kelp, then he blends in to that dark brown piece of kelp. Whoa, so cool. Oh, look, a shrimp. Hello, shrimp. You are so cute. You want to be pet? Yep, there you go. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Oh, it is so cute. Hey, speaking of shrimp, check this out. Whoa, doesn't that look like a shrimp? Yeah, it looks like the shell of the shrimp. Wow. Yeah, shrimp and crab, they do what's called molt. Yeah, that's where the outside of them, their shell, yeah, comes off of them. And this, whoa, <laughs> this is just a shrimp shell because it came off the shrimp. <laughs> oh, look at these critters. Wow. These are both hermit crabs. Whoa! Yeah, they're crabs that are inside shells. Whoa! Check out what happens when I pick it up. It's going to go inside the shell. All right. Whoa! Did you see that? Whoa! Yeah, it used to be outside the shell, but now it's inside the shell to protect itself. Okay, I'm gonna gently put it back right there. Whoa, look at this tank. 
Looks like there's some crabs in here, some fish. There's a lot of cool things in here. A lot of seaweed. Oh, do you see all those fish down there? Hello, fish. Hey, are you hungry? Yeah. Hey, check it out. Looks like I have some yummy food for these fish. Yeah, this is actually nutrient dense food for the fish. Yeah, it's just like you and I eating vegetables, basically. Oh, <laughs> really good for us. All right, here you go, fish. All right, all right. Wow, look at all of these shells. They are so pretty. This one is so big, look at it. Whoa, it's almost as big as my hand. Wow. Okay. Whoa, and this one is so shiny. Wow. Oh, and this one is so pokey. <laughs> wow. Oh, here's another pokey one. But those are little teeny pokes. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Oh, hey, what's this doing here? Look. It's a stuffed animal, and this stuffed animal is a stingray. Wee, wee! Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we explore this area and see if we can find any more stuffed animals? <laughs> oh, check it out! A giant sea turtle! Whoa! Sea turtles are so cool. They're so graceful just swimming in the water. Flapping, flapping, flapping. <laughs> That is so cute. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We have two salmon. Whoa, looks like one is spawning and the other one is not. Whoa, look at salmon go. Wow, salmon are some cool fish. They get so big. Yeah, these would be small salmon in the wild. Okay, let me set them right over here so they don't fall in there. Whoa, a giant sea lion. Well, this one would be really teeny, but sea lions get so big and they make the sound. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> that is so silly. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> okay, let's put you back right there. Whoa, you found another one. Wow, a giant clam. Look, it's like a hard shell. Yeah. Whoa, look, it opened up. And do you see what's inside? Yeah, we found a pearl. Whoa, that is so pretty. Whoa, so shiny. <laughs> I actually heard pearls get created from irritation. I think that's true. Whoa, look down here. Whoa, another shell. Yeah. This is a hermit crab. Yeah, check it out. See a crab? And then it actually goes inside its shell for protection, see? Yeah, it goes like this on the ground. And then it opens up. And then it crawls around. And then it goes inside. <laughs> okay, we'll keep you right there. Here you go. <laughs> Whoa. Another one! Yeah, this is a fish. And do you see how flat it is? Yeah, it lays down flat. Its two eyes are on top of its body. Yeah, and it just hangs out on the bottom of the seafloor. And this is a halibut. And halibuts can get so big. Yeah, this one would be a small one. <laughs> Whoa, this is so cute. <laughs> do you know what kind of animal this is? Yay! Yay! Yeah, that's a hint. Yeah, this is a seahorse. Yeah, it looks kind of like a horse, huh? Oh, cute swirly little tail. And look at what it has right in its little pouch. Little baby seahorses. Hey, wow, you're so colorful. Whoa. Okay, okay, let's see. Whoa. Couple more. Yeah, check this out. A killer whale. Yeah, an orca. 
Wow, they are so cute. Wow, an octopus. Octopuses are so smart. Yeah, and they have eight long tentacles. Woo! With suckers on the bottom to hold on to things. Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, looks like we have some whales right here. Oh, whales can get so big. They get massive and they breathe air. They go and then suck in air and they can go underwater and stay underwater for so long. Oh, hey, look, a beluga whale. Wow, it's so bright and white. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like snow. Yeah, beluga whales actually love to be in really cold, frigid water. And by golly, we have a lot of crabs in here today. Yeah, we do. There are so many of them. What kind of crabs are these? These are called graceful or slender crabs, and they look wow. a lot like a Dungeness crab. Have yeah. you ever seen a Dungeness before? Yeah, aren't they a little bigger than that? They sure are. Yeah. These are almost fully grown. Whoa. Can we take one out and see it a little closer? Even better, we could probably take two and figure out which one's a boy and which one's a girl. Okay, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Whoa, check it out! <laughs> we just got two crabs in here. All right, okay, how do you tell if it's a boy or a girl on these? Oh, well, that's a great question. I get that a lot. So I like to start with the female crab, the girl crab, and we look at her belly, we flip her over gently on her back, she kind of calms down, and we look for a very wide triangle shape here compared to the boy. And that's because she's gonna have eggs inside her tummy there, and she needs extra room. The boy doesn't need that much room. Okay, so that one is a girl, and that one is a boy? You got it, Flippy. Whoa, check it out. Wow, that is really cool, and I like acting like a crab. <laughs> Wasn't that so much fun learning about marine life together? Yeah, that was awesome. Seeing those cute fish and all those creatures. Wow, it's crazy how they live under the water and you and I live on the land. Yeah, it's really important for you and I to help keep the water nice and clean. Yeah, well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Blippi. Good job. All right, well, <laughs> I'm gonna keep learning. <laughs> so much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout, Blippi. <gasps> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, I'm at the Skyline Marina in Anacortes, Washington, and marinas are where boats live. <laughs> and today, you and I are gonna learn about boats. <gasps> Look, there's one right here. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Woo! <laughs> I'm steering the boat. Whoa, this is so much fun. All right, I'm gonna pull back the throttle. This is the throttle. This is what you use to determine if you go forward or backward. And this is the steering wheel. You knew that. Whoa, whoa. What else is around here? Oh, hey, I wonder what this button does. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> That's the horn. Let's do it again. <laughs> That's so much fun. Ooh, and what's this? This is a radio. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? This is Blippi. <laughs> Radios are used to be able to talk to the people on the land and 
other boats. Ooh, and a navigation system? This is electronic, and this one is not. This is actually a compass. It tells you which direction you're heading. Wow, that's so useful. Ooh, and there's so many gauges and instruments. Hey, and a muffin. Let's try some. Hmm. <laughs> So tasty! All right, check this out. Here we go. Let's go forward. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Check out the back. Yeah, look. are amazing pieces of machinery. <gasps> hey, when you're in a boat, and if you are 12 years or younger, then you need a life jacket. So, let's open up this compartment and take out a life jacket. And this life jacket is the color orange. Okay, let me put it on. Life jackets are really good to keep you safe. They keep you afloat if you go in the water. Let me turn this around, go to the back. Perfect, make it nice and snug. How do I look? <laughs> Whoa, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another piece of equipment that boats have on them is a life ring, and that's used to throw it off so then the person that's in the water oh, can grab onto it and then you can pull them in. Here, I'll go get the life ring. Whoa, check it out. This is a life ring. Whoa, I wonder why they call it a life ring. Hey, I know, because it saves lives and it's the shape of a ring. Okay, so let me take it, get it situated, and I'm gonna act like there's someone out there that needs help. So I'm gonna take the end of it. Okay, I found it. And from there, I'm gonna chuck it out there really far. Three, two, one. Yeah! Did you see that? And then once they grab it, then you can reel them in like this. Okay, grab on tight. I'll pull you in. <laughs> like we saved someone. There we go, <laughs> good job. a boat and it's out of the water. See, normally the water is up to here. Oh, but it's out of the water. Hey, and check this out over here. Come here. Oh, and do you see down there? Those are the propellers. Wow, they spin around and push the water back to create thrust for the boat to go forward. Whoa! Hey, and look way up there. There's some buoys. Whoa. They're kind of like pillows and balloons, so then the boat doesn't hit the dock and get hurt. 
Wow, this power boat is really cool. Has big engines to provide a lot of power to the boat. Whoa, look at this boat. This boat is a catamaran. Check it out. Wow, kind of looks hollow in the center. That's silly. And then kind of like a deck in the middle. Whoa, and how it gets power is from the wind. And then it blows on the sail, and then it goes. Whoa! Hey, look, here's another type of boat. And this boat, yeah, it's a power boat, but what it's used for is fishing. Wow, I see a lot of fishing pole holders up there. I bet they go fishing for salmon, tuna, crab, and all of those tasty food. Whoa, this boat is really big. Look how big it is. Whoa! I look so small hey. next to it. And this boat looks so big. Wow. Sailboats get all of their power from their sail. Whoa. Hey, and what are these down here? This is called a keel. It keeps the boat really stable in the water so then when the wind blows the sail it doesn't fall over whoa sailboats and boats in general look like so much fun whoa whoa look this is a kayak and kayaks are another type of boat. Interesting. Kayaks are powered by humans going like this with paddles. And in here, there's more kayaks. Come on. Whoa. Whoa, look over here. Here they are. Wow. This kayak is the color red. Ooh, and back here, this kayak is the color yellow. Oh, oh, this one's hidden. But do you see this? This kayak is the color green. Kayaks are really fun because you sit in them with a life jacket on. Yeah, a life jacket. Whoa. Hey, let's try on a life jacket. Okay. Take it off the hanger. Oh. Oh. All right. So this is a life jacket. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> and life jackets are really useful when you're near and on the water in boats because they keep you afloat if you're in the water. So then you don't have to go. Oh. <laughs> and sometimes if the water is really cold, you might wear a wetsuit. Oh, look at them back here. See, it's like their feet. And then the arms, and I think these are actually called dry suits because they actually keep you dry. So then the water doesn't touch you. Oh, let's see what else is around here. Oh. Wow. Yeah, the paddles for the kayak. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> this is so much fun! Okay, I'll go back this way. Whoa! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> oh. Ah! This building is so big. Have you ever wondered where boats get stored so then they can go inside away from the weather, like the rain, the wind, and the ice? Whoa! Yeah, a building like this stores many, many boats. Hey, check it out. Oh, hey 
doggy. <laughs> Look, this dog is being nice and safe with this life jacket on. Hello. <laughs> oh, so soft, so cute, and so safe. <laughs> Ooh, what a beautiful day it's been. Oh, look, do you see what I see? Wow, yeah, sea life. Whoa, let's get a little closer and say hello. Hey. Hey, how are you? Wow, that's a seal. It's just laying out in the sun. It feels so good. <laughs> I'm gonna go a little bit closer. Hey, how are you? Wow, it's so cute. Look at its big black eyes. Hey, <laughs> hello. I wonder what its name is. We should name it. I have an idea. Let's name it. Seely. <laughs> hey, Seely. <laughs> All right, Seely. Have a good day. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, I love the marina. Woo! Look at how big this boat is. Wow. Jeez, it's so long. Oh, hey, it's so big it even has windows inside. Hello. <laughs> That's silly. Whoa, and look how tall it is. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't I start at the back of the boat and then I'll step it out and count the steps to see how long it is. Ready? One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. This boat is sixteen steps in length. Good job! Whoa! it is to have this muffin on this boat. <laughs> Let me show you around this boat. Whoa! As you saw, that was the table. Ooh, in this area is a great place to prepare some food. Check it out! A fridge! Hello, fridge! <laughs> you can keep all your food nice and cold. Ooh, in a sink? What's that doing in there? <laughs> so silly. <laughs> okay, what else is around here? Whoa, this boat is awesome. Check it out. Ooh, that's the captain. Hello. Hi. <laughs> He's steering the boat. And down here is the inside of the boat. Come on. Wow, this is amazing. Oh, it looks like a stove top right here where you can cook some food. Ooh, a sink. Whoa, that's a big sink. Some paper towels, can't forget those. Ooh, a microwave. <laughs> oh, that's convenient. There's even a TV right here. Hey, that's me. <laughs> oh, in a bed. Oh. oh, what am I doing? No time for sleeping. <laughs> oh, another table. I could eat tons of snacks right here. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Woo! A fuel pump? <laughs> That's gas. 
And this is Beasel. Hmm, interesting. Hey, I have something to show you. Come here. <laughs> Just like how cars need gas and diesel to run on land, boats also need gas or diesel. And this boat right here needs gas. So, let's take this pump right over here and let's go fill it up. Whoa! What a long hose! Hey, check it out! This is the gas cap of the boat. So let's unscrew it. Okay, be very careful. And then put it right in there and pull the trigger. Did you hear that? It's nice and full. All right, let's put the cap back on. And now it's full to the top so we can have some fun in the sun. <laughs> hanging out in the water on this boat. I sure do love boats, and it was so beautiful out there. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we sing the Blippi Boat Song? See, 
Cruising on the ocean, boats are for me. learning about boats with you at the Skyline Marina in Anacortes, Washington. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. See you soon. Bye-bye. behind me? Yeah, a bunch of logs. Whoa! Today I'm at the Port of Olympia in Olympia, Washington. And these logs are chopped down, exported to different countries, so then they can build houses. <laughs> but Washington State is really cool because for every one tree that gets chopped down, the companies here have to plant at least three new trees. <laughs> So, I think we should explore the port. But first, I need some safety equipment. <laughs> I love being safe. All right, let's go explore the port. <laughs> Whoa, do you see that? That is a crane and it's so big. I love cranes because they can grab things from the ground and lift them really high up in the air. Yeah, really heavy things. <laughs> I'm gonna go explore this crane. Whoa! Check it out. These are the crane's wheels and tires. Yeah, the tires are black and the wheels are the color blue. <laughs> Did you also notice how they're too wide? Yeah, one, two. Yeah, it's not just one, it's two. <laughs> hey. I have an idea. Why don't we count all of these wheels and tires? All right, I'll start over here. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight wheels and tires. But wait a second. Remember how I said they're too wide? Okay, so we have eight times two. Eight times two. That's 16. <laughs> Good job. But wait a second. We're only on one side. So it has a whole other set on the other side. So here we go. 16 times two. <gasps> That's really hard. Let's see, 16 times two. <sighs> 32 wheels and tires! Whoa! Good job! Whoa, do you see that? There's actually a worker right here. Let's go talk to him. Hello! Hey, hey Blippi. Hey, who are you? I'm Frank. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What do you do here? Uh, I maintain equipment on the marine terminal, and today we're looking at the Gotwald Mobile Harbor Crane. Whoa, a crane? That's so cool. Can we go up? Heck yes, All let's right. go. Let's go, come on. Whoa, do you see it? Wow. Whoa. I'm gonna sit down in the chair. <laughs> this is where the operator sits. Whoa, look at how high we are. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, this is so cool. So we're about 90 feet in the air, roughly. That's about 30 yards. Meters. <laughs> Whoa, 
And do you see that those hooks right there? They're used to grab things. This can grab anything from logs to boats to pallets to, yeah, so many things. Come check this out. Whoa, look at those big cables. This is the hoist room. Whoa, they're so big, look. Ooh, and this room is the electrical room. Whoa, look at all these. Whoa, hey look, there's another worker. Looks like he's just working. Hey! <laughs> cool. All right, let's get out of this place. Whoa, now we're going into the engine room. Whoa, look at how big this engine is. <laughs> Frank, how big is this engine? It's so big, it's got 12 cylinders and it's a twin turbo Cummins diesel. Whoa, that is a big, powerful engine. See how big that is? Wow! That's what they use to pick up really heavy things. Whoa! <laughs> All right! <laughs> This is a massive ship. Yeah, this vessel is the vessel that they load all these logs onto. And then it goes out into the ocean and transports and delivers the logs. <laughs> Whoa, hey, what does this sign say? Restricted area, authorized personnel only. <laughs> That's you and I, let's go. Whoa. Those are some big logs, and there's so many of them. I think you and I should count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, ten thousand four hundred and forty-four, ten thousand four hundred and forty-five, ten thousand four hundred and forty-six, ten thousand. Oh no! I lost track. <laughs> Okay, well, anywho, I think we should let all the log stackers get back to work. So we should probably get out of here and then they'll stack some more logs on the ship. All right, see ya. Whoa, this is a small boat. <laughs> Whoa, this is a medium sized boat. Whoa, this is a Big boat! <laughs> and what it also has is this travel lift. This travel lift goes right over the water, drops these belts down to the water, and then it can lift up a boat. Or it could do the opposite, where it can hoist a boat, one of those park boats over there, over the water and then drop it down. But hey, check these out. These are some massive belts. They are so strong. Actually, this thing can lift up about the weight of seven school buses. <laughs> that is so much weight. Okay, let's uh, get out of their way so then they can lift up a boat. This is gonna be cool. Do you see what's happening? Yeah, those belts are lowering down to the water. And then they're gonna submerge themselves in the water, and that's when the boat is gonna go on top of the belts. 
and then the belts will lift the boat and then transport it to the land. Do you see what they're doing? They're using these poles to pull in the boat nice and slow so then it doesn't ram up against the dock. Yeah, because this might not be their boat. So they have to be very nice and delicate with it. Just like when you're borrowing someone else's toy, you want to make sure that you treat that toy with a lot of respect. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Did you see how they just lifted the boat? Yeah, now it's off of the water. Now the tires are going to roll on the concrete and then bring it back to land. Now it's time to scrape. Whoa! Check this out. Looks like a lot of barnacles and even some seaweed growth. Whoa! That looks yummy, but not for me. Whoa! All right, nice and clean. Yeah! Well, I should probably get going now because there's a lot more boats to explore. Yeah, check it out! There's so many! Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi! Good job! All right, see you again. Bye-bye!